clear. Second race. Right at the start, the wind filled in, came in from the right a little, shifted, then just shifted left. You see these boats going on the, they came off the wall here. Listen, you still want to say, I still want to say those, digging into the right, I'll probably this placebo or whatever, will pay as everyone tacks away. Jim went right up the middle again, 74. He's gonna get, looks like he's going into more pressure there. You, know, you can see quite often as you enter the last third of this beat, our beat here, you'll get Uh, the wind will shift many a couple different times typically into the left now the gamble typically is to sail into that header and come in on port the people that typically go right come sometimes come out but you can see jim again found another lefty course is the same. Nice puff coming down. back to the whole, uh, now Jim's just basically towing. More pressure coming down the lake. There's, a, there's one of those two claps. And more pressure coming down, so you'll see that 94, the darker boat, probably just got the lead. With Jim's gonna see down, Jim got kind of stuck over to the left. It might be hard for him to come back. See, now they're going to come all the way down to the leeward mark and go up to the finish. 94 looks like it'll be going in more breeze. Probably will just stretch out here.
one of my rules of thumbs here at this lake is when you come running into this mark you're not reaching whatsoever to get to this cone mark here and you see he's going wing down wing down that'll mean typically that you're going to go off in favor of the right or stay on that port tack longer than tacking over Pressure coming down the lake. It looks solid wind all the way to the finish. 